Hi, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson. This is Get Your Sax Together. And this video is part one of a three-part series on my favorite topic to improve your sax playing, which is transcription. This free sax lesson is part of my transcription series. You'll find the other videos linked up there. Also, there's a wonderful PDF that you can find linked down in the description. Just go down there, follow the link, and I'll get you that PDF that you can follow along with as we go through the lessons. And as always, if you're feeling the love, please do subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of new videos. The most valuable thing that you can do to improve your playing is to transcribe solos. Hands down. Transcribing solos just means learning something exactly like the original person played it, and then learning how to play it yourself to take on the DNA of that solo and how it feels to play like that person. So I've broken this down into a multi-stage process to really wring the absolute maximum out of this process. All you need to do is a few solos and you're gonna improve so much. So let's break it down into Eight, how many fingers have we got there? <laughs> Eight different steps. Okay, step one is choose. Make sure you choose something that you love, that is appropriate for your ability. You know, if you're an intermediate player, you're not gonna go and do the Michael Brecker thing, which I'm gonna show you in part three. Choose something which is about right for your playing, but pushes you on a little bit. And also choose something that you love, choose something that you always wanted to know how it works and how to play it, and choose something that you're gonna really enjoy listening to and is one of your favorite players. You're gonna hear it so much. If it's something you don't even like, it's gonna do your head in. So, step one, choose carefully. Second step is to listen. So once you've chosen your track, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it, listen to it all the time. Just like have it going in your head the whole time so that you really get obsessed with it and really know it inside out. Step three can be incorporated into step two and that is to sing along. Sing exactly as that saxophonist plays the solo. So you memorize it, you're listening and you're singing along. So when it comes to putting the instrument, you're already streets ahead of the game. Part four is the real nuts and bolts of the process, and that is to figure out exactly what the notes are. Now, sometimes it'll be fine just to listen to it and pause as you go along each note. Other things might be too fast. You might need some software like any tune to slow it down. But step four is about learning exactly what the notes are. Step five can be layered on top of step four, really, and that is to copy the exact phrasing and the exact tone and sound of the person that you're impersonating. Now this is one of the most important steps of the whole process. It's fine to learn the notes and the rhythms and all that, but if you really try and mimic the sound of that person, you can get that right inside your body. Your lips and your embouchure are gonna learn how to make that fantastic sound and it's really gonna bring your playing on more than anything else, I guarantee it. So very important, step five, copy the phrasing and the sound of that sax player exactly so that you can shadow them. Stage six is to write down the solo, but don't start writing it down until you've memorized the whole thing with the other steps, because the memory is part of the process. That's another great skill to learn. So once you've chosen your solo, listen to it loads, once you can sing along, you've learned all the notes, you've copied all the sound and phrasing, then and only then do you write it down exactly as they play it. Write it down in paper, I use Sibelius, but I used to just write it with pencil on manuscript paper. You can do whatever is easiest for yours, but get those notes down on the page. Stage seven is a really, really useful part of this process that too many people miss out. And that is to analyze what you've got now written down on the page. Really look into what they're doing on a technical level and see why it works and see what the notes are, see how they work against the chords and really get inside exactly what that person is doing and understand it on an intellectual level. And finally, part eight is to practice what you've analyzed 
and take some of the licks from your favorite solo and then practice them and practice them and then gradually incorporate that stuff into your own playing. I mean, at the end of the day, you don't wanna go on a gig and play a solo exactly like somebody already played. You wanna be able to play well. So stage eight is incorporating everything that you've learned and folding it into your own playing till it becomes part of your body and part of your sound and part of your head. Okay, so quick recap then. Stage one. Choose your solo and choose it carefully. <laughs> Stage two is to listen to that bad boy until it's really in your body and your mind. Stage three is to sing along until you can sing it perfectly every inflection. Stage four, you learn the notes. Stage five, you make sure that you've got the exact same sound and phrasing. Stage six, you write down everything that you've learned Stage seven, you analyze that solo and see what you can get out of it. And stage eight, you practice things from the solo to incorporate them into your own playing. Finally, I just want to mention that even if you're a beginner, get into the habit of transcribing solos, no matter how simple they are. It's a really useful skill to get into. It's not just for intermediate and advanced players. In fact, it will bring you on much quicker if you start doing it. So. For part two, what I've done is I'm going to share with you a short four bar thing that I've recorded to avoid copyright issues with YouTube and all that stuff. And I'm going to take you through those eight steps as quickly as I can, hopefully it won't be too long, so that I can show you in practical terms how you apply those steps to learning the four bar solo that I've put together. So I'll see you there now, exciting! Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please go back and find parts two and three from this transcription series to really bring your playing on. And remember, the PDFs down there in the description. Just follow the link and subscribe, ring the bell, do all the good stuff like that, and I'll see you soon on Get Your Sex Together.